Okay, we're going to hop into questions. We'll begin with Ryan Aber, the Oklahoman, and then go to uh, Joe Bettner. Yeah, Alex, I, I know we've talked a lot about turnovers over the last, uh, really since you arrived, didn't come in the numbers you'd like uh, last, last year. Uh, how do you feel about that, that aspect of things as this season enters, and how's the emphasis changed from year one to year two? Well, I don't know that we could emphasize, you know, emphasize it anymore, um, and, and that's just reality of it. Now, why isn't it sticking? And, and are we going to default to what so many people default to and say, well, we just were unlucky and we're not going to go down that road? And so, uh, no, what you do is you, you continue to, to, to emphasize it. You know, I think the, the other thing that, that you highlight is, is the impact of the ones that we did get, you know, uh, you know finishing a game. Uh, at, at, you know, Nick Benito down in, uh, in Waco, you know, TCU, Buki making a, making a play, part of Motley making a play against Iowa State. And so when we say takeaways equal victory, uh, don't, don't tell me I'm wrong. Um, and and what, what impact, you know, other games uh, could have gone, whether it's, um, you know, the, the ultimate outcome of the game, maybe it's, you know, creating two more scoring opportunities for our offense, so on and so forth. And so, uh, no, that, 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 that controls games. It will never change in our sport, uh, and it will be emphasized uh, as long as they allow me to stand in front of the room. Appreciate it, Alex. Okay, Joe Bettner with Norman Transcript and then Jason Kersey. Yeah, Alex, I, I want to ask you about Perry and Winfrey, uh, just how he's stepped into the the program this year and what contributions he's already, I guess, made through through fall camp. Well, I think with all those first year guys, you know, number one, you got to do it on on, on on game day. OK, but but I will say extremely excited about him. Um, he, he's been had an impactful uh, uh, fall camp uh, on, a, on a play in and play out uh, you know, basis. Um, you know, obviously was, was highly, you know, ranked recruited, but, but, you know, we got the guy we thought we got, you know, and so we'll manage expectations until he does it on a Saturday night, but, 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 uh, been excited about, about Perry on through camp and, uh, excited to watch him play on Saturday night. Jason Kersey, the athletic and then Eric Bailey. Yeah, Alex, kind of similar to that question. I mean, how are you feeling about your defensive line depth overall? You've lost some guys, um, and obviously Ron, the situation with Ronnie remains up in the air. Where, where are you, how do you feel about that? Well, I, you know, you know facts trump feelings. And, and so, uh, you know, the fact of the matter is that, uh, you know, th those individuals that get opportunities uh, have to go produce. And, and so, um, and, and as you look at it, you, you say, you know, what, what probably the, the, the biggest frustration as a coach is when an individual has an opportunity based on injury or based on circumstance, and all of a sudden you, you, you put them out there and they don't take advantage of it. And you say, why, what, 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 how have I failed as a coach to, to you know, provide you this opportunity? Now, it, it may have not been my choice to provide you with the opportunity, but the opportunity nonetheless has presented itself. You know, how could you not be ready for, for it? And so uh, with, with all those things, there, there's a lot of guys that are recruited to, to, to play high-level football in Oklahoma. They're, the expectation is that they – they do just that, you know, when, when their number's called, uh, we expect them uh, to, to perform. So uh, th those are the facts. And then uh, um, I, I think there, there's several guys that uh, have embraced that opportunity up until this point, and I obviously have to do it on game day. Eric Bailey, Tulsa Whirl, and then Caleb McCory. Hey, Alex, when you inherit players, you have to really take time to get to know them. When did you first recognize, what did you first recognize about Trey Brown 20 months ago? And did you recognize that he could be a, a, a key playmaker on defense? You know, what I saw in Trey Brown probably 20 months ago was inconsistency. Um, and, and I would tell Trey Brown that if he was sitting here today and, and, and I, he, he could try to mount an argument, I'd win it. Um, if, if we had that conversation, you know, you saw ability, you saw speed, you saw too much of a reliance on that speed. Uh, as opposed to techniques and fundamentals. And Coach Manning's done a tremendous job with, with our corner room. And so credit goes to him, but also credit goes to Trey Brown for, for buying in and working. You know, when, when, when you know, I say he's made, you know, just a, a, a real jump this fall camp, you know, I, I say that not, not in a critique of him a year ago. I just see more consistent play. And I see a, more a guy that uh, uh, is trying to make an impact on a, a, a down in and down uh, out basis. And, and a guy that's not, uh, you know, just just a speed guy anymore. A guy, guy that's uh, just trying to mix it up and use techniques and fundamentals. I, I think that'll, uh, you know, it, it it will serve him this year uh, if he commits to it on game day, which we expect him to. Alex, Kayla McCory, OU Daily, and then Kerry Murdoch. Coach, uh, a few weeks ago, you said after the first scrimmage that uh, the tackling wasn't that great and the physicality. Um, three days before the game, where do you think that is right now? And how tough do you think it is for this season to actually develop physicality and 
and tackling ability, especially when you've missed so much so much training this year? Yeah, no, no, certainly it's improved over the last uh, couple of weeks. You know, we had another scrimmage in between that, and then we did you know a couple more days of live and some live tackle drills and stuff like that. So certainly feel better than I did whatever that was three weeks ago, something along those lines. But no, it's something you got to be conscious of. You know, I, I, you think about any time you, um, you know, th this game is not played on Zoom. Uh, th th this game, you know, needs to be played to to improve at. Like, so like every sport, um, you know, when you when you talk about numbers and if there's X number of guys out of practice, well, that that obviously hurts you depth wise, but it also increases the workload for the individuals who are out there. And so you got to be smart from a physicality standpoint. How much uh, is the appropriate load on these individuals? But uh, um, no, that that's something that's ongoing. It's something that you look at every week, kind of poses some new challenges. Um, and and but but knowing also that uh, uh, it, it it requires that, I and mean, practice requires a physical element of things. So that, that that's something that's uh, ongoing. Thanks, Alex. Jerry Murdoch with Sooner Scoop and the Sports Animal. Hey, Alex. Um, are, have you had to talk to your players or do you have to talk to your players about, you know, being able to bring more energy out there on defense with, you know, not having as many fans in the stands? I don't know what it's going to – the atmosphere is going to look like, but do you worry that that's an issue at all or that you and your, your coaches have to bring more energy to, you know, to game days? Yeah, I, I think you know, one of the critiques maybe that, that I would have a year ago is, is, is sometimes waiting for a play to create en energy. You know, we'll get energy after X happens. And that, that's with, you know, 80-some thousand in the stands, you know. And, and, and I, so, uh, no, I think that's a constant. Um, you know, I you know, try to re remind these guys, you know, they, 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 don't, they didn't have 80,000 at Iowa Western. They didn't have 80,000 at, at, at NEO. They, 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 that those high school games. Uh, even for the boys down in Texas, you know, didn't include 80,000. And so at some point in your football career, uh, you decided it was about, you know, the, your, the challenge in, in front of you, which obviously is your opponent. It was about executing. It was about uh, in, enjoying what you're doing to, despite who was in row three. Um, and so that, that's just something that's a responsibility of our guys. But have we talked about it? You bet we have. Uh, talked about the day the music went down in practice today. Now what? You know, I don't like the song in, in, in practice. How do I feel? Uh, and, and all those things. And so, that, that, no, that's something that uh, is responsible on our part to, to, to attack and manage. 